Donnie here, thanks for joining us. How many people are you? Okay then, one indivisible, fantastic. Now enter your name for me. Perfect. Okay hey, folks, we're getting close. Ten seconds. Catch you on the flap side. Run the balloon check. Six, five, Go to four, three. Seven, W-E-O-B, the asylum. Hey, Cookie here, and this is not a purse. It's a totally acceptable man bag, okay? Mmm, I see you're all alone. Try not to be frightened. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Country Charm Indoor Outhouses. All the convenience of an indoor restroom with all the charm of crapping through a wooden hole. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> Alright, we're taking off. <laughs> to get started, pleasurable measurables. Hey, remember that internet video sensation, Two Girls, One Cup? Here's a clip of it now. I'm kidding, what do you think I am, some kind of sicko? Say Rachel Ray and Martha Stewart make a wholesome version of the video Two Girls One Cup featuring chocolate ice cream. If they can't find a cup and use an equivalent, what might the video be called? Two girls, one quarter pint, two girls... A cup in cooking terms is equal to a half pint, or 16 tablespoons. <laughs> By the way, I'm filming your reaction to this question right now, and it is absolutely priceless. <laughs> Next up, dot your black eyes and cross your P's. Which of these is Will I Am's name in the present perfect progressive form? Will I would, will I have been, will I would be, or will I will? The present perfect progressive tense uses has or have plus been plus the present participle. As in, will, I have been feeling very fergalicious lately. Coming up next, lucky number 17. What could have been a cover story for the first issue of Seventeen magazine? Special suffragette issue, World War II rationing... Seventeen magazine was first published in 1944 during World War II. So, a girl who was 17 when Seventeen first came out, well, she probably just reads AARP magazine now, or Dead People, the tabloid for dead people. And now, it was the best of prime time, it was the worst of prime time, and it was a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven TV shows. For each one, tell me if it was on TV Guide's list of the 50 best shows of all time or on TV Guide's list of the 50 worst shows of all time. If it's one of TV Guide's best, press the number one. If it's one of TV Guide's worst, press the number two. Each one right gets you 300 ratings points. Each one wrong costs you 300. And you got the length of a commercial to do your business. Answer quickly for more bonus cash. All right, let's get started. Baywatch. The Howard Stern. Hogan's Heroes. Bewitched. Star Trek. The Brady Bunch. Barney and Fr Congrats. You've clearly wasted most of your life watching terrible television. The Jerry Springer Show is rated the worst TV show of all time. Which begs the question, have the makers of TV Guide even seen Two and a Half Men? I mean, come on! You haven't seen it, have you? Just watch it once, TV Guide people! It's not like you don't know when it's on. Where's the Bob girl? Rock my world girl! Ooh, yeah! Coming up, Lady Luck is a dirty tramp. Which casino game takes a lot of balls to play? Roulette, Kino, Crap. Kino is a game of chance similar to Lotto that uses 80 balls circulating in an enclosed bubble. So it takes a lot of balls to play it. When playing Kino, it also helps to have a really big sack to put your winnings in. 
That brings it close to round one. And you've got a decent score there. Don't screw it up. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. Okay, then, here we go. May I introduce U2SA? If you want to see U2, one of the most popular touring acts in the world, play in the biggest stadium venue in the world, how would Bono most likely open the concert? Welcome to Soldier Field! Welcome! At 250,000 seats, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway has the greatest seating capacity in the world, making it big enough for U2's fans. And they can actually add over 100,000 spots for ground seating as well. Meaning there might even be enough space for Bono's ego. Question Let's try... Me Captain, a Sue Captain. It's the put the choices into order then goes in and see if you are right. Okay, I'm gonna make this one even more worth your while by adding another thousand bucks for a correct answer. Rank these captains in order of their first appearance from the oldest to the most recent. Captain Morgan's rum, Captain Planet, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch, Captain Planet, Captain Morgan. Captain Planet, Captain Morgan, Captain Crunch. Captain Morgan Rum first appeared in 1945, Captain Crunch in 63, and Captain Planet in 1990. That earned you an extra grand. <laughs> And what do these three captains all have in common? They were usually present at the breakfast table when I was growing up. Walking chickens picking out a mate. Oh, guess I'll marry eight. This one's known as Jesus, Master of the Sacrifice Bunt. If Major League Baseball followed the same hierarchy as the Catholic Church, what would be the AAA minor league team for the St. Louis Cardinals? The Memphis Archbishops? The Memphis Deacons? The Memphis... M In the order of Catholic precedence, Archbishops are just below Cardinals. I do love going to a Memphis Archbishops game. Between innings, the nuns come out of the dugout and shoot Jesus t-shirts out of air cannons. Take a stab at office politics. What do U.S. Vice President Joe Biden and Jim Halpert from The Office have in common? They're both married to a Pam, both worked for... Joe Biden was born in Scranton and The Office is set there. Proving once again that Scranton, Pennsylvania is the cultural and political epicenter of the United States. Hold me, never let me go. Take a good look at Oz Trippin. Suppose the poppies in the Wizard of Oz made the scarecrow dream about the world's number one opium producing country. Where would he follow the yellow brick road of his mind to? To Uruguay? To Afghanistan? Afghanistan is the world's largest opium producer. And why do you think the Lollipop Guild enjoyed suckers so much? One word ecstasy. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the number one. 4,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 4,000 if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You taught me everything I know. Wax on, wax off, Dennison. Good luck.
That's the game! Ah, oh, Grasshopper. It appears the student has become... the teacher? You don't know Jack! Good job, everyone. Donnie was...